Let's find the equilibrium prices for this economy. We have three sectors. Sector number one is chemicals and metals. Sector number two is fuels and power. And sector number three is machinery. We know that 30% of the outcome produced by the chemical is used by the fuels and 50% of the outcome of the chemicals is used by machinery. We also know that 80% of the outcome of fuels sector is used by chemical and, and 10% of the outcome of fuels is used by machinery. Therefore, here, for example, we know 30% is used here, 50% is used here, therefore, 20% is used by the own sector. Here, we know that 80% is used here, 10% is used here, then 10% of the outcomes of the fuel sectors is used by the sector itself. Here, for the machinery, we know that 40% goes to this sector, 40% here goes to this sector, and therefore 20% uh, of the machinery sector is used by itself. Let's do the exchange table for this economy. We have chemical and metals, fuels and power and machinery, chemicals and metals, fuels and power and machinery. In each column, we're going to put numbers. These numbers need to add to one and they represent um, how is distributed the outcome of chemicals and metals. We know that 20% uh, is used on its own, 30% uh, is used by fuels and 50% is used by machinery. In terms of, for the second column, we know that, for the second column, we know that 80% is used by chemicals and 10% is used by machinery, then 10% is used on its own sector. For the third column, we know that 40% is used by the chemical sector, 40% uh, is used by fuels and power, and therefore here we have 20% that is used by on its own sector. Then uh, if we want to find the equilibrium prices, we want to solve these equations. We want the expenses of the chemical sector to be equal to its profit. But let's see what are its expenses. It needs to buy 20% of its own product plus 80% of the fuels sector and 40% of the machinery sector and that must be equal to the whole profit, which is this number. Also, uh, we want the expenses of the fuel sector to be equal to its profit, but its expenses is equal to 0 0.3 this plus 0 0.1 this plus 0 0.4 p sub m is equal to the whole profit which is p of f and m the last equation comes from the machinery sector and we know that its expenses are equal to 0 0.5 uh, p of C and M plus 0 0.1 P 
of f and f and p plus 0.2 p of m and this sum must be the whole profit which is then this system reduces to a homogeneous system let's see what is that system we have let's move this to the left we have negative 0 0.8 P of C and M plus 0 0.8 P of F and P plus 0 0.4 P of M equal to 0. Same thing here. And same thing here. We can solve this system by creating the augmented matrix, which is and we can do row reduction and I'm going to do it here. But if we do row reduction, we get that this matrix is row equivalent to this matrix. Therefore, we can solve this system by selecting what are the basic variables and the free variables. Here we have that this, this, and this are basic variables. And P of M is free. And we solve the system by rewriting the system. We have that And then we just write the basic variables in terms of the free. Therefore, for example, if P sub M is 100 milliamps, then the price for the chemical sector would be this, which is approximately 141.7 million and the price for the fuels and power would be this which is approximately 91.7 million